All right, today we are going to be learning how to uh, produce an MP3 in Audio Tool. So I'm at the Audio Tools um, main web page here. I'm going to hit the login button. I will sign in with my Google account. And then uh, once I'm here, I can enter my studio. We're going to start off with a new file. We'll go completely blank today. I'm going to hit a new project right here. This will start something new. And today, um, I want you to just try playing with just the tone matrix right here. Just bring the tone matrix. You can double click it or click and drag it into your workspace. And you'll see it automatically hooks up to your soundboard. And in here, I'm going to create just a few simple basic patterns. You can create whatever you like. Okay, so I've got a, a little pattern here I like. I like that pattern. Um, so I'm going to save that. Up here I've got eight pattern options. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes there. I'll save that in pattern one. I'm going to start off with maybe a, an even simpler pattern. Um, Okay, I got another pattern there. Let me get another one going here. Oops, having fun. I'm just kind of clicking buttons right now. I'm not doing anything particularly serious. Okay, I like that pattern. Uh, now I can take my patterns here that I've created. I'm going to start off with this second one, I think. Um, I'm just making these for fun. You can create any any set of patterns you want. It doesn't particularly matter what it looks like. I'm going to see if I can create something that sounds nice, though. I'm going to copy this pattern to the note track. Down here, oh, you see that it went right where my timeline was. So if I hit the Stop button, it would bring my timeline back to the beginning. Or I can also click and drag in here. See if I hit Stop, it sends it back to the beginning. I'm going to bring that pattern back there. Um, let me bring in another pattern here. Here's my first pattern. Um, I'll create a copy pattern to note track. So I've got that one there. Let's spread that one out a little bit. And let me grab one more here. Okay, so I've got a couple little ones, copy pattern to note track. And then in my timeline, I can now go through and organize these. Like, I think I want that first one to play all the way through. Second one here, I'll add in in a couple different spots, I can go. Con I'm holding down Control. I'm going to click on it and drag it over. This one up here, I just clicked on the edge. You see, if you click on the edge, it, you get that double arrow. And then this one here. Let's see. I'll, I'll stretch that out there. I'm going to turn on my loop. Have my loop go on. There we go. And let's hear what this sounds like. Let's see. I'll hit stop. Go back to the beginning. Oh, and I'm still hearing this pattern play through the whole thing. Why? Um, because even though I brought these ones down here, this one's still playing in the meantime. I don't want that to hear that, so I'm just going to go to a blank pattern, or I could have hit clear as well. Let me go back to the beginning. Let me hear what my song sounds like now. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. Now, um, how do I figure out where the end of the song is going to be? It's not where the end of the loop is. The end of the song is actually somewhere else. So I'm going to stretch my timeline out. There's my, my, the end of my song. It's this white bar here. So I clicked and dragged my timeline, zoom, and then I can click this bar here. I'm going to drag it back. I'm going to put it um, all the way, let's see, I think it has to be at least minimum eight bars long. So I could take this whole pattern here. I could highlight everything. I clicking somewhere where um, it's not touching something. Drag a box, highlight everything. Hold down Control, and I can move this whole thing over. Okay. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is something like that. That'll be my whole song here. Um, 
Okay, so how do we publish this? Well, there's something that's important. While you're working, you can hit the Save button right here on the Unsaved Project, and that'll start an auto-save process. Or you can come up here to Project, and you can also hit Save up here. This is the first thing you want to make sure is done. You want to make sure your project is saved in case something goes wrong in the publishing process. Um, and so this one will be um, MP3 sample. Oh, that's what I'll call that one, just for fun. You can call yours whatever you like. Um, the rest of this information you don't need to worry about. You can leave it all the same. You just hit save there. It takes a moment. It'll save the track. And then under project, here's how you publish it. I go to project up here, and you come down to publish. And it'll bring up something that looks a lot like the save menu, except in this time, instead of saving it, it publishes it. So I'll hit publish. It might take a little bit, depending on how long your song is. But now I published my track. Well, OK, fine. Where did it go? So let me go back to the main audio tool web page. You see I have another. Um, uh, this little icon up here, if you click on it, it takes you to Audio Tools homepage and it takes you to your tracks. You can also get to your tracks up here on the homepage. You hit that little icon there and go down to tracks. This will bring you down to the same page that I'm on here. And here's my MP3 sample. So if I click on the name, not onto my name, but onto the name of the actual song, what happens is it brings up this little um, internal one. It'll tell you how many times your song's been played, if it's been liked, if you've got any comments. And over here, you can download your song. So if I click on download, um, it gives me two options. I can download it as an MP3 or as an OGG. It's um, not showing up very well on my screen right now there. Let me drag this over for you. You can download it as an MP3. This is what you want to do. Download as MP3. Click that. And at that point, you now have your song in your Google Drive or in your downloads. Um, in, my, in my case, I could go click on this little icon here, and I could go show in folder, show me where it is, because I'm on a PC. Um, bottom line is it downloads it to your computer. And at that point, you could upload it to, let's say, Canvas to turn it in. All right. So this is what you need to do today. See if you can create a song and then publish it and then upload it. All right. Have fun with it.